Hello, today I'm going to be doing a Star Wars The Old Republic Let's Play. Obviously, you've got to go as the rightful Empire, you know. There's only one true class to play on this uh, game, and uh, why not? Let's go with the Sith, Sith Marauder. I've done a few of the others, so. Uh, I think it's the one I've only really done. Well, I've done half of it, and then I got. It was my first account, and then kind of stopped. Yeah, let's so uh, Laura at the window. Let's go chess. Yeah, that's why not. Well, skin color is it, is it blue or more blue? Blue or blue, basically. That's naturally. Time to rage. Yeah, that works. Now well, let's go. Okay, name. It's probably gonna be a quick thing. Hopefully. I can't remember if you have spaces in this. Hey, you can! So you can tell I've played the game before, given I've got like so many ridiculous ones that eat uh, nails in the, the box already. At last you've arrived. Good. Good. There is much to do, and every moment is critical. Okay, I didn't realize quite how tall I chose my character. <laughs> oh, I know he's a thing. <laughs> For decades, I've administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. I suppose that's much like this channel. I'm a survivor. I didn't bring you here for levity. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. Yeah, sounds fun. Sounds like a plan. Let's see, sis, you know, the gotta be quite hungry. Enough, we'll do a bit of minor role playing, I guess. hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Vemrin. He's your enemy, and he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. Well, he'll I'll die. Try. I'll destroy him. With my guidance, someday you'll destroy all your enemies. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The that tomb fun. is thick with claw slugs. Deadly, savage creatures. Be speedy, but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. Well, if they lack they the not instinct lost, to obviously. avoid me, I'll feed them their heads. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. Uh yeah, we'll go with that. No, oh, where's the mailbox? This bit's probably gonna be cut. Voila. Kinda clear it out a bit. Hi. <laughs> Hi. There you go. You look so confused. There we go. Oh, that was worth it. Should I have some celebratory fireworks? Yeah, let's have some celebratory fireworks. There you go. I'll have even more. <laughs> Such a waste of such a, like a sort of precious resource that you. Can't 
<laughs> Such a waste. Can I move all the stuff off here? Uh, there we go. Swipe. And already level 2. You know, sick gains and levels. Time of the first quest. Oh, and the first trainer as well. You desire more power? Good. Remember, peace is a lie. Excuse me, Acolyte. Sergeant Corman, 5th Infantry Company, Corriban Regiment. Can I... can I talk to you? Make it quick, Sergeant. Yes. Of course. You're the Acolyte Overseer Tremel had brought in special, right? Heading down in the tomb to show what you're made of? Yes, that's correct. Well, here's your chance to not only show off for the Overseers, but start building ties to the Imperial military as well. I'm here commanding a hard target mission to exterminate claw slugs in this tomb. They're horrific things. Mouths bigger than your head. I've lost three squads of good men fighting them. They come in packs. They just... they'll swallow a man whole. Your men obviously need better training, Sergeant. Those men were battle-hardened. The enemy just has more numbers. The damn claw slugs... I mean, they don't, they don't look that bad. There's no way to wipe them out conventionally. So we started targeting their egg chambers. We managed to get explosives to all of the egg chambers, but the claw slugs were all over us before we could detonate them. Perhaps. Oh, I'll underestimate. do it. The thingy back here? No. Gonna put more fireworks on. Oh wow. Wonder where they got their name, their name from there. Eh? Right, I apologise for the quit in the background. Uh, probably gonna have to deal with it for now. Not quite worked out the, all the kinks in the recordings. So. You know, while I'm going swish swish stab and screen, just focus on that preferably rather than the click 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 click. No, that's my somewhat noisy keyboard. It's not the noisiest keyboard I know. One of my mates has got absolutely noisy. Is that again? Okay. Sith Warrior was sort of the first class I played in the game, so when I when I first played it, I played it. And I go about level 13, and for some reason I stopped playing the game. And I came back to it years, well, probably not years later, but a while later. And ended up playing uh, the Sith Inquisitor, which was, well, I would say is my main character. I, I think that's definitely the, my favourite plotline. So I've technically not played this f full through. You know, I've done, I've done the, although I've done the, uh, the equivalent of the Jedi one, so. Should be vaguely similar, right? I mean, it's, you know, they're basically flip sides of the same class, right? Other than say, saying that, I was more the more the, the Jedi Guardian, so I've not actually played the one that uses the two weapons yet. I just don't know how different that is. So as I say, it's been a while since I've uh, played the Warrior specifically. Oh, oh I forgot I missed it. Fuck. Whoosh. The advantage of not being uh, like completely green in this game. I heard the explosions when you set off the charges. Outstanding, sir. Class and perfectly no timed. Jedi will be able to stand against you. Remember, peace. I put my gloves on. My gloves are critical. <laughs> We're gonna quest back out here. Huh? Oh, right, right, right. It's just, it's just the bonus. XP is pretty easy in this game, if I recall. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be going uh, hungry with it. If I ever am a bit delayed in the XP game, I guess I can just do a flashpoint or something. Can't even remember where I'm going. Nice, it's been a while since I've been here.
Gotta go fast. <laughs> I've got three class boosts. I probably should use one of them just rather than keep doing what I do in level in the characters, but at the minute I'm being a free free noob. I used to pay for the game, but I should be a free noob for the minute while I'm just leveling a character. Yes, I've got one weapon now, as opposed to the two I need. That's one thing I will say, that's better in this game than it, WoW, played WoW. You get a lot of things just based in the game, that you don't necessarily get in WoW without the mods. Like the fact that, it, you know, I could, could be wrong, could be missing something, but like when you, you hover over an item it tells you exactly what the differences are. Which I'm pretty sure it doesn't in WoW, could be wrong. Probably should know given I've been playing it over it of late, but yeah. Nah, the quests in this are much easier to follow on this. Because of the voice acting that. Well, let be fair, you know, some of the later quests when you've just. You know, when you get a bit later in the game and you're just like, oh, I just want to get through it, you do end up just skipping and read the subtitles, so I guess it turns out no different. <laughs> we. Oh, I thought you died. I wish that was in a cool, lower cooldown. Because I got to just jump around. You see this dungeon in no time? Swish, swish, stab, man. Oh, I've got a leveling buddy now. There we go, much better. I think every other time I've actually been through this area in previous times, like, these people have already been killed. Which is a bit weird. Well, I'll get that night XP, that'll be valuable. Oh, stunned. Great. Oh, he was somewhat harder than previous people. Well, wait, let's choose a title. Want you to title? Alright, the test pilot, we'll go with that. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I'll go with the Intrepid. I feel it's Intrepid. Even this is probably going to be the first video on this channel, I feel somewhat Intrepid in doing it. If even anybody even looks at the video, I'll be impressed. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up. Yeah, smash that thumbs up. Hit subscribe. We'll try and do a full, uh. Well, oh, well, I fancy doing a full Let's Play on Star Wars again. It's been a while since I've done it. Plus, I've always wanted to play with a few people, so it could be a chance to meet some nice new people. You know. So that's all things about. Plus, the reason I was trying to do this whole thing is I'm probably gonna. Well, I wanna learn a bit of editing, so whether this is gonna be any decent editing, I don't know, but. Uh, we're, we, you know, we're gonna try, so if you. If you've got any constructive criticism, please leave a comment. Uh, well, emphasis on constructive. One of my mates done a channel, and uh, sorry, he done a released a video, and his uh, his only comment was uh, less than pleasant. We'll say. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Let me get a look at you. Mm, hello, hmm. Ben. So you're Overseer Tremel's secret weapon. Impressive, to be sure. Afraid the old man waited too long to make his move, though. I'm Vemrin, and unlike you, I've fought and bled for everything I have. I demand respect. You don't want to make me angry, Vemrin. Believe it or not, I'm trying to keep you from getting killed. If Overseer Tremel had made his move a year ago when I first arrived, you might have had a chance. But now... Too little, too late. This is ridiculous, Vemrin. Let's <laughs> just kill him and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Dorgus. There are rules, traditions. 
We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. I'm going to take what's yours, and then I'm going to kill you. You have no idea the enemy you're making. Coming, Dolgus? Be right there, Vemrin. We're on Sith Temple. What did you expect? You know, roses. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other. But accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. Oh, I'm shaking them a bit. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? I suppose this is sufficient. What are you doing, father? I only just got my war blade and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, father. Acolyte, this is Escala, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here. On her way to becoming Sith. If she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, father. But I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. Don't mind her. She's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. But you couldn't seem to stand outside. So soon? It was nothing I couldn't handle. If he didn't attack, he must not fully comprehend the threat you represent. Good, good. Still, I'd hoped we'd have more time. Them is not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with force sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot eating at the foundation of the Empire. He must not be allowed to advance. I mean, because I'm clearly pure blood. Yeah, so pure blood sick, just clearly. Let me stop him. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barriss, one of the most influential Sith Lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed oh, we've got to Wonder Woman playing on the server. immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. I will handle it. Go to the Academy prison. Speak to Head Jailer Nash and return to me after you... Well, level five, we're at the Academy, and we've got uh, the quest now to basically go judge people, which is, you know, an excuse to get some free light side, dark side points. Uh, but we are going to call it here, so uh, thank you for joining me on my first video, and uh, I hope you join me again next time when we'll go deal with the, uh, the, the prison situation. If you've got any nice constructive criticism or you think, just drop a comment. If I even get any views in this, which I'll be surprised if I do, you know. So, hi, one viewer. And, uh, yeah. Nice meeting you. See you later.